Yo. I got a special guest about to pull up. Rudy, what's up, Rudy? My boy. Listen, I have a special guest pulling up to the live real quick. I haven't been on live in a little minute, but someone from one of my favorite shows is about to come up here. Max, what's up? Darius, what's the word? Listen, one of my, uh, one of the favorite people I have from one of my favorite shows is about to come up here. Hold on. I'm about to get him up here right now. Hold on. <laughs> Demi, what up? Mel, no, but Melissa, you're gonna be excited about this one. Hold on, let me get my son up here real quick. <coughs> New begin pause, that's crazy. Yeah. Yo. Yo, brother. Tyreek, my boy, what's the word? What's going on, man? What's going on? Bro, I'm happy to have you up here, bro. I appreciate you taking some time out. My pleasure, bro. My pleasure. I ain't gonna lie, now that I'm looking at this, we low-key look alike a little bit. We yeah, look very... You, you reckon? <laughs> I think so, but I mean, it's just the complexion and the hairstyle, but we low-key look alike a little bit. Yeah, maybe, still, maybe. No, I appreciate you, bro. You Where you at right now? You're in London? I'm in Essex, bro, which is basically London, next to London. It's next to London. Okay, where I don't know much about the UK landscape, but I do know that Love Island is one of my favorite shows. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, I was I be watching some of the seasons. I watched the last season; it was tight week, so I had to I had to tap out. But when I was watching this season, I was really into it. And when I was watching, I was like, "Yo, bro, this gotta be the realest dude I've ever seen on a reality show, bro." Because you are so you're just like a normal person, like a regular human being. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Obviously, I'm just, I am a normal human being. You know what I mean? I'm normal. So just being myself and yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to change too much for reality TV. Do you know what I mean? Nah, but when I be watching these reality shows, I'd be like, yo, bro, what type of people are these? Like, who's casting this? Like, why? But you just seem like a regular dude, just like somebody that I would know from the hood. So thank you for uh for just being you, bro. You funny as fuck, too. I ain't gonna lie. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all the love. Do you know what's mad? And when I came out, I got my phone back, obviously. I didn't even realize how much the Americans be, be going crazy for Love Island UK. You know, I was surprised. It's mad. Now, I ain't gonna lie, we be tapped in. But the thing is, <clears throat> if you're on a delay, so the way it works is I think like an episode out there will come out and then we get that episode two weeks later. So okay. for me, I just wait till the whole shit come out. That way I can just watch the whole shit. You said you was binge, yeah. binge watching it. Exactly. But bro, how, how, I guess from the beginning, like how big of a deal is Love Island in the UK? Cause from what I imagine, it's like a, a, a huge deal. But is it like everybody tapped in? Is it some people tapped in? Uh, you know, I feel like, nah, it's a big deal still. A lot of people are tapped in in the UK. A lot of people, most of the UK. And it's mad cause it's all ages. Like I'm going, I'm going to the shop and I'm seeing, seeing old people and they're like, bro, like, I saw you on my TV the other day and I'm like, why do you even watch Love Island? It's crazy, man. So it's all ages, young, old, a lot of people, man. So yeah. And is, is it a show that you've been watching or did you just start watching it and you was on it? Like, how did it, how did you get into it in the first place? Yeah, no, nah, I'm a big, big Love Island fan for a few years. Do you know what I mean? So obviously every summer when it comes out or every, even every winter, every single Love Island will come out or watch it. With my, my brother, my sister, and my mum will sit down and we'll watch it, you know what I mean, and give our thoughts and go back and forth. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm going on this show, man. And then, yeah, now we're here. So you knew you wanted to be a part of the show? Yeah, yeah, nothing. But to be fair, they, they asked me for a couple of years. And at the start, I was a bit like, mm, I'm not really too sure because I don't think there was anyone that's, that's like me that's been on there. So I don't really know how I was going to do and what it's really like, you know what I mean? But I thought, you know what? I ain't got nothing to lose, man. Let's just see what's going on. Let's go, go on TV, be myself, and see what happens. So you said no the first couple times? Yeah, yeah. I said, nah, I'm not really on it a couple of times. So, yeah. They reach out to you in the first place on the gram or an email or what is the process? It's like? on the gram. They reach out to you on the gram. Wow. So you get like a DM and they're like, oh, we're casting for a new show for singles. Whatever. And you kind of get a feeling it's Love Island, you know what I mean? And then you yeah, had a phone Word. call. And then, yeah. So what, yeah. what was it What was it about this time that they asked you that you was like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to go on? Do you know what it was? Obviously... I was like, 
I was work, I was work, working. I was at work. I got the I got the VM again when I was at work one time. Obviously, because I worked at a school with special needs kids. Obviously, playing semi pro football as well. So I was at work, and then they DM me, and I was like, Do you know what? Work is dead today, man. Let me just go on this show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was having one of the days on the job. He was like, yo, fuck this. I'm going. Literally, man. I think, yeah, work was stressing me out. And I said, you know what? Let me just go to Love Island, man. Let me get away for, for a little nah, bit. Nah, that's a good escape plan. Do, is there like a long process? Or did you just hit him back like, yo, fuck it, I'm with it. And then you're just on. Or is it like a multi-step thing? Uh, it's, it's a multi-step thing, you know. It's like, cool. So they DM me and I was like, yeah, I'm with it. And then they was like, um... All right, probably do a Zoom. So the first thing is I did a Zoom, just li literally like this, just talking to one of the casting people, just having a normal conversation. And then it's like after that, they invite you down in person and then you keep doing like little steps, little steps, little steps. And then boom, it's like you're flying out next Thursday, get ready. And I said, yeah, that's when it was all real. So when you found out like, yo, I'm about to go on this show, what did you do to get ready? Like, did you, did you go back and watch old shit? Did you go shopping for some new gear? Like, what was your like, damn, I got to get this done before I go on there? Yeah, man, what did I do? I didn't, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch it again. I didn't watch it anything else. I said, you know what? I didn't even have a suitcase at that point. So I, first thing I did, I went to go get a suitcase. Oh, you I, went traveling? You even have a suitcase? Yeah, you know, my suitcase broke a couple of years ago, and uh -huh. I didn't even replaced it. So I was like, you know what? I need to go get a suitcase. Went to get a suitcase first. And then I didn't even, I brought out to buy swimming shorts, um, vests, everything. I had to buy everything, man. I had to buy new clothes, man. Some new crepes. I had to buy a whole new wardrobe, basically, just to go. Because, obviously, you can't wear branded stuff on there. So, everything had to be unbranded. Damn. You had to wear all blank shit? Yeah, basically, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So, how are you supposed to get fly? Yeah. Okay. So, is that why a lot of y'all... I noticed it. I would have never said it. But I noticed sometimes I might see you wearing something and then I might see somebody else wearing something. That was sharing the clothes and shit? Yeah, because um, eBay is a sponsor yeah. of Love Island. So, it's um, eBay pre-loved. So what they do is there's like a big wardrobe of eBay pre-loved and like, for example, if I want to take a jacket and then after I wear that that night, I've got to put it straight back into the wardrobe so someone else can wear it the next night. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, so, yeah. Angus was saying stay on it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, what if you wanted to take some shit with you though? Did they let you bring anything back to the crib or you had to leave it all there? Uh, nah, do you know what? I tried to be cheeky. There was a couple things that I wore that I liked, you know, and I tried to put it in my suitcase, but before you fly home, people go through your suitcase like, Security going crazy, and I just see them dashing stuff out my case. I said, "Yeah, man, they bagged me." <laughs> He's like, "Fuck, they got me, son." Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> so when you're in there and you're in the villa, it feels like y'all are like quarantined. Like y'all have no communication with the outside for real. It's really like that. Bro, no, no outside communication. No knowledge. Don't even know the time. It's mad. It's mad that you don't know nothing. I've heard, that, but like you can't. Can you like call your mom if you want to talk to your mom? No, you no. No calling. There's no calling mumsy still. No. Can't call mumsy. <laughs> nah. Nah, you, can't, you can't call no one. But the, the most you can get is when obviously new bombshells come in and stuff. The first thing, bro, instead of like just chatting to them and get to know them, I'll be like, yo, what's going on on the outside, man? Like, what's, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, who won this game? Like, yo, what's this? <laughs> yeah. Who dropped I'm saying, yo, who, I'm saying, who did Arsenal send? But yeah, <laughs> but you can get in trouble for asking that. So yeah, man. Y'all couldn't, I, I, I imagine that y'all had producers in there that knew what was going on. Y'all never tried to holler at the producers like, yo, oh, what we doing tomorrow? Or like, yo, what, what's the new albums dropping? Bro, all the time. Bro, you see, I was a menace in there. You see the producer, I used to say, oh, yo, like, let me look at my followers quickly. Or, or like, yo, like, let me see what's going on back home. Or like, who won this game? Who won the Champions League final? And they'll be like, no, I can't tell you. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, what's going on tomorrow? And like we don't know, but I know you know, man. You produced a show. How can you not know? Of course they know, bro. They be lying. Yeah. Did you did you get close with the the producers in there and like the people that you work with that we don't see on camera? Yeah, hundred percent, man. You build like a proper bond because obviously at um, lunchtime and dinner time, obviously it's not really filmed, so the boys and girls are separate. But our producer, um, will, one producer will sit with the boys, one producer will sit with the girls, and we just talk about life. Like, you can't talk about anything that's going on back home, but you can talk about general stuff. So. Yeah, I got quite close with all the villa producers, and I see them as my friends now, I'll be honest. So, yeah. You can't talk about anything that's happening on the show. If you do, they'll stop you. If what? Like, Sir? <clears throat> if you're talking about anything that's happening on the show, they'll just stop you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's lunchtime and dinner time and you're talking about um, anything to do with the show, they'll be like, stop, stop, stop. You can't talk about that. Change the topic. Like, they're on it. It's, it's mad. It's mad. They're on it. you got to save your conversations till after dinner time. That's lame. How about, like, how about, like, um, like when you're eating and shit, right? And you're not filming. Y'all allowed to like listen to 
music? Can y'all like anything? No, no music. I think we had music one time because it was um it was Mitch's birthday and they played one song. That's the only time. What song? And they play. Uh, I can't remember some some song that I didn't like. Some some I don't know. I don't know who it was. Some, it was a pop song or something like that. But, but you can listen to music when like you see if you're going on a date or yeah if you're going on a date if you're leaving the villa and they're driving you can ask the the, the person to play you know play something on the yeah. i'll be like yo bro throw some shit or turn the radio on yeah. something yeah it's mad then you can you can request a couple songs still but obviously it's, it's, everything's close so you've got to fit in so many songs in like 10 minutes i'll just say yo skip 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 trying to hear as many songs as possible is that why so excited to go on a date to leave the villa just so that y'all can see something else that's what i'm saying like when when it's like uh when it's the chance to leave the villa like you you enjoy that because you've been inside the villa for so long you get to go in a car like you start to see trees and outside other people like it's crazy man it's, it's, it's a bad experience so when y'all hold on <clears throat> you know when when y'all be like y'all be like all right we just spent the whole day with these people then i'm gonna go inside shower get fly and then come out and cheers and act like well, I went just with all of y'all all day. Yeah. And then y'all be like dancing like that. Y'all be dancing with no music? <laughs> no. They don't, do we dance to music? Yeah, we dance to music, but it's like, it's not the music that you guys are seeing on TV. So it's like, they're playing one song and they're just saying, they're just slapping a song and they're saying dance. And you see me, I can't dance anyway. So I'm, I'm, I'm naturally feeling stiff, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you got to do a little certain, certain, and yeah, man. You don't really dance to the music you're seeing, innit? but they make it look good on TV. Do y'all get sick of each other, like having the same people around you all day, every day? Um, I get sick. You know what? I, th I thought I would, you know. I, before I went in, I'll be honest, I thought I'd get sick of so many people. But because we're, you're all in the same situation, like I can't call my mum, he can't call his mum, she mm. can't call his mom. We're all We're all together in this, you know what I mean? So it's like a, you actually become quite close and like close-knit. So, yeah, we all became quite close. Of, I don't really get sick of no one. I ain't gonna lie, this sounds like a prison bid. It sounds like y'all all in there, y'all just cellmates, y'all yeah. sleeping in there. <laughs> See, I, I, I never been to prison still, but you get me, cool me like that. It sounds like it. I just want to give the people at home, if you're watching this and you have a question for Tariq, uh, you can put it in the uh, question box and I'll get to it at the end. Honestly, I didn't prep for this at all because I just wanted to kick it with you and just ask whatever the fuck came to my mind. Yeah, man, it's calm. But when you're chill, like when y'all going to get dressed, right? What is the incentive in your mind to want to get fly? Because if it's me, I would be like, bro, y'all are all day. So I don't care to like get dressed up. I already know how I look. Yeah, just, you know what? I used to think, I used to think, I need to look fly tonight because I'm on television. You get uh -huh. me? People at home are going to see me and I know my friends, if I'm wearing something that's, that's a bit shaky, I'm going to come back and get grilled. So I said, yeah, you know what? I'm on TV. Let me just look fly. And obviously, you just want to look fly out of pride, man. Oh my God, man. I got a lot of personal pride, you know what I mean? So whatever I can do, I did. No, that makes, makes sense. When you see, when you, when y'all are there, like, interacting throughout the day, is the cameras, like, up high in, like, little hit or do they be, like, out there with y'all on the camera? No, nah, there's no, like, there's no cameraman on a day-to-day. -day. It's, like, just little cameras everywhere. And, like, bro, there's bare cameras. There's, there's a lot of cameras still. Like, sometimes you don't even know there was a camera there, you know what I mean? But you see it five days in. It's like raw, so yeah, there's just cameras everywhere. There's not really no cameramen. But you know when something big's about to happen because when you look over the pool, there's a big camera that pans over everything. So when a big camera comes out, you know something's about to go down. Yes, yeah, shit about to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> do you um do y'all ever okay, you know, before you get dressed, you was like, all right, I'm I know I'm gonna let me get fly so the people can see me. Do you ever think to yourself, like, damn, this is a bar. I wanna say this I'm gonna get this line off now fly. Or I'm gonna say this to this person, you know, that it's on TV. Mm, no, I didn't really think like that, you know. I thought I didn't really think like that. I just thought I'ma just be me. I'ma just say what comes to my mind and say whatever feels right to me, man. I, I thought I'll just I'll just be a me, and I don't really have no plan. I just talk, and whatever comes natural comes natural. And I can't. I don't really have a plan to say. Oh, I'm on TV, so let me just say this. Nah. Now, <clears throat> you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. But for me, if you were watching, there's. There's no way that me and my would not have had to get it over with Mitch. Because he was talking crazy. Where I'm from, he was dirty man I've ever, ever seen in my life. Did y'all ever feel like I wanted to press him on some shit like, yo, bro, what's up? Because y'all, 
y'all did sit him down and like talk to him, but did y'all ever feel like you had to like, or you wanted to put some pressure on him? Like, yo, bro, stop doing that. Yeah, I feel like well, obviously when he when he did a couple of questionable things, I did a say couple. I did speak my no no when he did some question. Do you know what it is? M Mitch, everyone asked me about Mitch here, but I want to say one thing. Here. Mitch wasn't that bad. They obviously he did some bad stuff, but they didn't. They ed he got a bad edit. I'll be real, cause Mitch ain't, Mitch ain't that bad. He did some questionable things, things that I can't relate to or agree with. Do you know what I'm saying? But everyone's different, man. Each to their own. As, as, as soon as I realized. Yeah, he just he's just built different to me, so I just got to get me let him do his thing, cause you know what I'm saying everyone's different, man. But Mitch wasn't that bad, man. He wasn't that bad. He got a bad edit. He just maybe he just come from a different code or like a different. Like he was wired a different way, but yeah, yeah, he just built differently, man. I think that's just it. He's I ain't never no shit like that in my life, bro. I couldn't believe it. Um, so who did you actually fuck with uh, in the villa? Like who was your friend besides? I it, it looked like Zach to me. But who who was like your people that you would chill with when you weren't like shooting? Yeah, stuff? The, the main people I chill with were obviously Zach, that's my boy, and Sammy. So like, I feel like me, Zach, and Sammy, the us three, and obviously Montel as well. Before you got dunks, man. So yeah, us us four was quite close, man. We used to just chill, and you know it's lunchtime and dinner time. Everyone will break off into their little who their people were. Do you know what I mean? So it was more time. It was me, Zach, and Sammy, man, just talking. Just talking shit, trying to pass time. Did y'all eat good? Did they? Is the food good that they be making y'all? Nah, nah, nah. Food, food, nah, nah, nah. Food, food wasn't the one, still. So I was just having a sandwich for, for dinner, like most nights. A sandwich for dinner? Nah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I fucked with Montel. He was cool. And then, bro, he tried to throw you on the bus for him making a grown man decision. I'm like, yo, what's up with it? That's why I'm saying. When I was watching it, bro, I'm like, this is why I fuck with you, because. I would have said some shit like that too. I would have been like, bro, go run down. Like, go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro? bro let's just, I was here, you get me? There's, there's girls around, people ain't in the same position as me. You get me? Go, exactly. go do that. Go, go do that, bro. So go enjoy it. Because if it was me, I'd be enjoying it too. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, nah, I don't know. I don't know why you try. I don't know why you try to blame me. I'm not his dad. So. Yeah, I'm like, did that. grown ass man, bro. You made that decision on your own. But I ain't gonna lie. If I'm like wiped up, I'm gonna definitely be. Trying to entertain my, I'm like, yo, go run down on that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's you know when you're when you're not when you're not in the game yourself, you want to see people playing the game, man. It makes you get it gives you a little feel. You need some entertainment somewhere. Oh, man, I need something. Shit, I need something. Um, so obviously we know. Uh, I mean, and this is not a, a, a spoiler for anybody, but you and Ella uh, come up, y'all wiped up, y'all made it all the way from the beginning to the end, uh, and now you're out of the villa. What, what's life like for y'all? Like being public relationship where you don't even know complete strangers are like knowing y'all and knowing everything that y'all have going on. Yes, it's obviously it's, 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 it's mad. Um, I feel like, to be fair, first of all, I feel like a lot of people used to say that me and Ella used to argue a lot on on the TV and on Love Island and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? But that's because we were just so on top of each other. And I did always say, once we leave the villa, I feel like our relationship together will, will prosper because we have we can take ourselves out of situations and you get me and come back. So I feel like it's definitely done that. So I feel like we're actually enjoying our relationship more outside. But the fact that the whole, that like we're stuck in so much in the public eye, I'll be honest, it's, it's, it's weird, man. Because I've never had a girlfriend before. It's my first girlfriend. And I just in the public eye like this. Like. So sometimes it's a lot, do you know what I mean? So a lot of people have a lot to say. Even in my DM request, they'd be giving me opinions. I'm thinking, who asked you? What are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know you, bro. That's what... I don't even know you. Like, just get away from me. Do you know what I mean? But is what it is. That's what comes with it, innit? So, yeah, sometimes it's funny, man. It's, 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 sometimes they make me laugh. They make me yeah, laugh. Uh, you say you live in Essex. Do you live in Essex? Too? Yeah, I live in Essex. Is yeah. that, that where she lives too? No, she, she, she's living with me in Essex right now oh. with my family, but she's from Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. See, I got a lot of dynamics of the, yeah. Scotland's far. Scotland's not even in England, so it's a different country. What the fuck? So how did y'all... I'm confused. So, from Scotland... But I met in a club in London. She must yeah. have been on or something like that. Yeah, she was. Up, she was down here visiting her, her sister for the weekend. God. We met in a club in London. So yeah. Okay. Why y'all? I feel like yo, I've been to London a bunch of times. It seems to me like London is. Bad. Why do you have any plans to move out there? Do you? Want to move out there? Yeah, no, we definitely got plans to move into London. Still, so London, London's where so I'm trying to move into London. Obviously, I've been to Essex for a long time, and I love Essex, but it's time to move into the city, yeah. man. Yeah, that's where the motion is at. Yeah, Definitely motion there. That's why I need to move there still. Yeah, do you go there uh, to visit London often? 
Yeah, I've been to London often. Always good. Well, if I if I go out, I don't really go out in Essex. I just live here, my family. But from London, uh, where I'm from in Essex is like half an hour, forty five minutes. Oh, I'm yeah, thinking you go another thirty minutes away. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's not far. It's not far. Just outside. Copy. Is it? Is it? I imagine that it's your first time. In is it frustrating to you? Because I imagine that you they probably connect well. So. They probably be like, oh, Tyreek, where's Ella at? Huh. <laughs> yeah, like, when I, if, bro, it's mad, yeah? If I be walking down the street, everyone will be like, where's Ella, where's Ella? I'll be like, bro, like, me and Ella are not attached to the hip, you know? Like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> Ella's, doing a, Ella's doing her thing. I'm here right now, you get me? But, yeah, nah, man, it's, it's all love, man. And sometimes if I post, they'll be like, where's Ella, where's Ella? Or do you know the one that really, really makes me laugh? Like, I'll post at him, and they'll be like, in the comments, Ella's man, Ella's man. Like, I ain't got a name. <laughs> they only refer to you as Ella's man. That's Ella's man, you know. Do they, do they? Do they ask her the same? Do they what? Do they ask her the same shit? Like when they see Ella, do they be like, "Oh, where's Tyreek? Where's Tyreek?" Yeah, I feel like they do. They, they do sometimes, but not as often. So yeah. How about, how about the um? How about the song that you and uh and Whitney Whitney she had a, a little ad lib on? Do y'all have, yeah. are y'all releasing that as like a real single? Yeah, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying, bro. Like me and Whitney are definitely trying, but obviously it's hard. There's a lot of legalities involved. I've got to be careful what I'm saying, but we're definitely trying. We're on it. We've recorded it, and we're trying to get it out, man. So yeah, Ella, Ella's got a little ad lib on there. It's just a, it's just a fun song, man. And it's, the song's good. The song's good and it's catchy. So is yeah, it, is it? Uh, is music something that you've always been into? Were y'all making music before this, or is this something that you wanted to do after the show? No, do you know what it was? It was I've, I've never, I've never like released a song or anything like that. But before, before going on to the show prior, I just go studio with my friends, and I just we just rap and just make songs for fun. So I've got loads of songs on my phone, but obviously they ain't been mixed or mastered enough like that. They're just one takes, and we just have fun. I, I have fun with it. Do you know what I mean? But then everyone be like to me, why don't you just release this? It's hard. Like why don't you release it? And I be like, nah, nah, I don't know, man. I'm a woman and Aaron, but bro, life short. You only get one life in it. So I think yeah, music's definitely something I'm gonna be taking serious. So why not? Why have I got to stay in my lane, bro? I'm swearing. Wow. Well, uh, it, it, I was, like, adjusting to the fame bin for you. Like, you know, walking down the street, people saying what's up to you, or, like, you know, even trying to do what you would do on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And that, before you step out, you know that, you know, somebody might recognize you. Maybe I should different yeah. to approach life in that way. Nah, you know what? I still, I still just do me, man. I still do me. Obviously, it's hard. It, it, it's weird to adjust. And if I'm being honest, I'm still adjusting now, to be fair. It's like, when people ask me for pictures, I even think, what do you want a picture of me for? Like, I ain't done nothing. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, you get me? It's, it's just, it's, it's weird to adjust, but it's fun, man. It's enjoyable. It's, it's, it is what it is, man. And like, you know, some people send, I get some really, really nice messages, man, from people. And it, like, it's, it does make my day sometimes that. Like, you get me that I'm making a difference to their day, so I always try to reply. So yeah, man, it's good, man. It's good. I'm glad that I'm glad that where Ella worked out and that Ella had. I don't want you to say anything to react to this because you're a relationship. But if you guys didn't work out, the benefits of being on this show and the fame, I'm sure you would enjoy. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yeah, <laughs> that was just reacting. To them. Uh, I want to get a couple uh, questions from. People watching at home, let's go through some. Um, let's. Kid Lucas says, "Would you ever go back on another?" Mm. Yeah, do you know what? I would. I would go on another reality TV show. Hundred. I feel like TV. T TV is fun, man. And now, I've, now I've done it. I feel like I know how to attack it properly. Do you know what I mean? Even though I've done my thing this time, I feel like I know how to properly, properly hold it down. So yeah, man. Um. Okay, it's okay. It says, I'm curious if any Islander told him if he's getting hate outside. I guess, like, when a bombshell came in, like, did anybody ever tell y'all, like, what was going on the internet? Uh, yeah, a couple, a couple times. Like, for example, when I said I missed the game, the bombshells would come and be like, bro, like, that was a big thing. Like, why did you say that? People were going, saying this and that when, um, when we were back home. So, yeah, a couple people said a couple stuff. Okay. Um... Eterna by Zara says, what's his opinion on people saying their relationship was toxic? Uh, nah, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely not toxic. You know what I mean? What, what people got to realise is that you only see one hour in a day and, and the editors choose what goes on in a day. And the, the hell of times, 
when me and Ella were just be not arguing, cute stuff. We had, a, we had so many good days, but I feel like our, our arguments were were highlighted, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So now we're definitely not toxic, man, and I don't I don't promote toxicity. You get me? So now we're definitely not toxic. We're, listen, we're just wholesome men. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now, how about like life after the show? Do you still kick it with uh, Amy and Zach and all those places? Say that again, bro. Like, like you, um, Zach and Sammy, I know those are your guys. Do y'all still kick it together or do they live in separate places or? Yeah, we all live, we all live kind of close to each other. I'll be honest, but right now, obviously everyone's busy doing their thing. I've seen Sammy a couple of times. He had a party at his house that I went to. Um, and I saw Zach the other day, went to Carnival, Notting Hill. So yeah, man, I do link up. And I see Zach the other day again at a fashion show. So yeah, man, we, we link up, we link up. When do you guys, do you have plans to come to New York at all? Yeah, you know, bro, everyone keeps asking me, you know, bro, I'd love to come to New York. Trust me, I'm trying to... <laughs> I went to New York when I was 13. I was young. So I need to, I need to experience it as an adult. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I should have came this past week. It was Fashion Week. It was a movie. Yeah, no, no, no one invited me to Fashion Week, bro, in New York. You know what I'm saying? If I got the invite, I would have been there. Damn, bro. Nah. I'll come, I'll come. I'll fly out. I feel like one of these brands, listen, I'm sure somebody worked for some brand watching this shit right now. Somebody got that invite, fly that kite so my boy and his lady could come out to New York. Uh, yeah. You would have a lot of fun there in Fashion Week. Um, and how about now with the family and shit? Like, does your family uh, fuck with uh, wifey and does wifey fuck with your family? Like, are yeah, is, is it a nice, like, blending happening? Yeah, bro, it's, it's, it's crazy. The blend's mad. Like, I, didn't even, I didn't even expect it. Always hoped. That would have been like this, but bro, it's, it's honestly nice to see, man. Like, she gets on so well. My family, my family like her, she likes them, and it just, just fits nicely, man. Everything's sweet. She's part of the furniture right now, so yeah. <laughs> I never heard that she's part of the furniture. That's funny. You used to, uh, you say you used to play soccer before. <clears throat> do you still yeah. play out? Or? Yo, 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 what's soccer, big man? It's football. Bro. Don't do this. Bro, no, it's football. We don't call it soccer around here, God. Do you still play that sport where you kick the ball with your feet? Yeah, yeah. That, no, you know what? I don't even play it at the minute. I'm taking a, I'm taking a little break, but I'll definitely go back to it, man. Obviously, it's something I've always done, something that I love, so I will be back soon. It seems like out there, soccer is to y'all what basketball is to us. Like yeah. in the, like the way, maybe the, all the people that fly and cool play basketball, and that's who like the. But out there, do, do y'all even care about basketball at all? Do you know what? I feel like basketball, I feel like you, you, if you play basketball here, you've had to be playing it for a long time. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not really loved like that in England. Football is obviously, well, soccer in your words, is the main sport. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, but I know some fly brothers that play basketball. Zach plays basketball. Shout out, Zach. He's hard as well. He's got crazy handles still. But, yeah. I saw that yeah. during that talent show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like playing and shit like, like that. I guess talking about those challenges, <clears throat> specifically like that one, I feel like every other challenge is some sort of iteration of the same exact thing. Like you come out, do or say something, you slide down some shit, or like you throw something. It's always the same, and then you pick one Islander to do whatever, kiss or dance on or whatever the fuck. It's always the same shit. Do y'all even get excited when you have challenges? Or is it something like, all right, well, at least we get to leave this part of the villa and go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, I'd say sometimes if you if you haven't if you haven't left the villa or had a challenge in a while, we'll be like, yes, something to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, let's have fun. But then sometimes it'll be like, I remember one week it was a mad heat wave. It was like forty eight degrees, and we and we got a text and then we got a challenge, and everyone was like, please no, because challenges take ages, and there's no there's no shade really where the challenges are. So the sun was just beating down on us, and yeah, man. So it depends what the weather was like. If we haven't left the villa in a little bit, so yeah, man. Some sometimes excited, sometimes not. Depending. How long does it take this challenge though? That I mean, oh. I really, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be skipping through them shit sometimes because I'll be like, it's always the same thing. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, but, I, I feel it. So. How long does it take? Two, two, three hours. Sometimes four hours. Depends what challenge. You know, if they if they didn't get the right take, <laughs> do that, do that shit again. You get damn, me? So damn. Yeah. They be doing that like, ah, oh, man, we didn't get a good angle on that. Can y'all kiss again? Uh, no, 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 no. They won't really say kiss again. They don't say kiss again, but they will like say that again. Like, oh, if it, if it, if it weren't clear, then I'll say say it again. Or you get me? Well, and it, yeah. is it 
it just somebody who's like talking over like a loudspeaker or is it a producer that's actually there? On the, on the challenges, there's a producer that's actually there. But in the, in just a normal day in the villa, it's just a loudspeaker. Just saying, saying your name. Yeah. So when y'all, <clears throat> when y'all was done filming the show, how long after the finale episode did y'all get on a plane and come back to the UK? Um, two days. Two so days. What did y'all do for those two days in between? What did you say? What did y'all do in those two days between uh, the finale and coming back? So the, so the final ended. And then that same night, all the finalists left the villa and went to like a complex where there was like a lot of, and it was a nice complex, a lot of villas next to each other and we'd all stay next to each other. And then the next day we'd stay in the villa, then we'd still be in the villas and then people would come talk to you like um, the press team or the, the site team and stuff like that. A lot of people, producers will come and chat to you about what's going to happen next. And then that night, I remember they said in the morning they come see you, we've got to go through all these videos and chat to all these people. And they say at 7 p.m. we're going to give you all your phones back. So I remember everyone just waiting till 7 p.m. counting down to get your phone back. And I was like, well, everyone get their phone back. And everyone's head was in their phone for hours. And the next day you fly home. So, yeah. Did your phone come back dead or did they charge it for you? No, my phone, my, phone, my phone was charged. That's what's mad. My phone was charged. And then I turned my phone on and then my phone just died. So I was like, bro, come on, man. Like, so you had to reboot all the yeah. way back up and charge yeah, up. Yeah, I had to reboot all the way back up. And so, yeah, my phone was overheating. Notification, notifications were going crazy. It was mad. What, it was mad. What was the first thing that you looked at when you got your phone back? Uh, first thing I got my phone The first thing I did when I got my phone back was FaceTime my mum. Real. And then, and then I went on Instagram, I'll be honest. Let's see what's popping. <laughs> <laughs> did you look and see how many followers you had? Did you check the DMs first? Like, what was the first uh, destination when you were in? I checked. I checked how much followers I had, and then I checked the DMs and see what was going on. Did you have more or less followers than you thought you would have? Uh, I had. I had more. I had more followers than I thought I'd have because obviously I know they 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 ban the they ban the social media stuff, so no one could run your stuff when you was in there. They they didn't used to do that on Love Island. Oh, they, yeah. They so it's something they something they put in. Yeah. So then obviously I thought oh, I'm gonna come out to no followers. No one's gonna be posting on my account and stuff like that. So yeah, I got my phone back and I was like, right, like, I think I'm like 400k or something like that. So I was like, yeah, this is I can work with this. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with this. Yeah. Why don't Why didn't they let people run your um social media no more? I feel like because they said because um people's families and friends was running their accounts for them and people was um giving them hate and trolling. So it had an effect on their families and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, I think that's what it comes to. Damn, damn, damn. Well, you, look, you came out with 400K. How many followers do you have now? I'm sure even more than that. I think 700, something like 700. that. Listen, with 700,000 followers, some brand has to invite you to New York. Get me. Someone needs to invite me to New York, man. Let's work. I'm damn. fully with it. Goodness gracious. All right, let's just get a couple more uh, questions from the audience and then we can get out of here. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got Lisa Caddy says, are you and Sammy still, are you and Sammy still as close? Yeah, me and Sammy are still close, still boys. I spoke to him today on the WhatsApp. He's been in Ibiza partying for the past week and that, did you get me? But yeah, we're still close, man. Yo, yeah, I really be using WhatsApp instead of just regular text. Yeah, I'm now we, we, we use WhatsApp over here or text, either one, it depends. But what's the point? Like if I have an iPhone and you have an iPhone, what is the point of WhatsApp? Uh, what's the point of WhatsApp? I don't really know. Just more, more stuff goes down in there. Do you know, it's because you're in quite a few, I'm in quite a few group chats. So people in the UK use WhatsApp for like group chats and stuff like that. So it's better to just have it all on one platform instead of keep going back and forth. So yeah, that's, that's how I see it. I ain't gonna lie, in America, we only use WhatsApp if you're trying to text somebody, send a video to somebody who's either in a different country or if they have an Android. I swear, everyone just uses that message. Yeah, why? It's so easy. And you can FaceTime right from there yeah, and send a voice. FaceTime, yeah. Yeah. But almost, but almost like when you're talking to someone, you can click their DP and see what's going. Like you can free them quickly. See what's going on in the DP. What's the DP? Uh, the display picture on WhatsApp. Oh, uh, message ain't got no display picture. I don't even know about that. What is that? Like, a, like a profile. Like, you know, like that. You know that. Like a profile picture on WhatsApp. People have that, so you can like kind of when you're talking to someone, you can quickly just look and what they see, what they're saying, and then do you know what I'm saying. That's that's what I used to. That's why I used to use WhatsApp. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's like an IG story. They they have stories on there, but no one really uses that. It's like a you see like your profile picture on your Instagram. Yeah. People, if you have WhatsApp, you can change yours in it, so you can see everyone's profile picture. Okay. So, so yeah, your profile picture like all the time. 
Yeah, no, but people change it. You can, if you're typing to someone, it's nice to just put a face to the face to the word sometimes. You get me? Just look up. But on iMessage, there's no picture. It's just just iMessage games and all that. Listen, you put me on some shit. <clears throat> I remember when I came to London and uh, I was talking to some shorty and she was saying, yeah, we only use um, WhatsApp out here. And I was like, we both have phones at the point of this. But good to know. What's up? What's up? Decent. All right. Let's get a couple more. Um, <clears throat> Peanut Butter Peter says, what do you have to tell us save that guy? I contact. I just, I just have Ella saved us, Ella. You see, you see, you see me, it's, uh, Ella's, Ella's got me with a love heart next to it, yeah. She asked me the other day, why, why do you not have a love heart next to my name? But it just looks messy. Like, I don't like the emojis next to the contact names. It just makes it all look messy. You see me, I'm like a, I don't know, like I'm an organized person. I like everything to be structured. And you get me? So if I just have Ella with a red love heart and it, when she's calling me, it'll just look silly on my phone. You know what I mean? I feel it. I, I'm a, all of my contacts is first and last name. Even my parents. Yeah, 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 you have to be, we're grown now. We're yeah. grown, sophisticated. Just to be simple. All right, let's do like one or two more. Um, KVS, the world says, did any of the other Islanders kissing Ella during the challenges make you feel away? Yeah. 100%. Oh, bro, there was one time, one time, one time, you see, what was it, the football challenge, mm -hmm. the football challenge where she read, she must have red carded me, told me, sit down, hold that, and then she went and, and then she went and kissed Zach, and I just remember, burning hard, you know, that's when I realised I had feelings, because before, before that day, when she used to kiss people in challenges, and I didn't really throw no away, I'll be honest, I was just like, oh, yeah, whatever, so, ha -ha, it's all fun and games, I'm going to kiss someone too, then when she kissed Zach that day, I was just like, Bro, is this what feelings feel like? Because this is crazy. <laughs> I remember burning still. Do y'all do y'all care about Love Island US at all? Do y'all watch that out there? Not really. No, I don't. I never really heard of Love Island US, you know, until Scott until Scott went on there, and then I started seeing him on TikTok and stuff like that. But it looks good though. You know, it looks it looks interesting. Still, just like there's, like there's a lot I'm, going on. I'm gonna be honest. Before this season, nobody fucked with Love Island US. We only watched the Love Island UK because the US shit was tight week. I ain't gonna lie. What, but, what's the difference though? Everyone said, what's the difference? I don't get it. It's just, hang on a lot. I think a big part of it is y'all accent. The way y'all talk is like, in, I don't, to me, it's entertaining. Y'all be saying slang words I've never heard. Of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Entertaining to me. But I just feel like Love Island US, in the past, I mean, this season is different, but in the past, nobody really fucked with it. I don't really know. That. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know it was a thing, Love Island USA. That's I... Yeah, I think they saw the success of Love Island UK and was like, you know what? We need to try to recreate. Yeah. Do I sound like I have an accent to you? What? Yeah, hundred percent heavy accent, bro. You probably have. Like, I've heard a lot of British accents. Like, you probably have the craziest accent I ever heard. Wait, I never, where, where, where? I never met somebody that talked like you before, ever. Where, where, what, what is it? It's just it's the way you say words and like, and um, you be saying shit I never heard, bro. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Like when you say pre, right? Like I know what that means because Jamaicans be saying that. Like, yeah. oh, why pre? But I didn't know that British people be saying that. So I'm like, where is it's just a lot yeah. going on, bro. Do you know what it is though, bro? I feel like where where Love Island ain't really had anyone like me and let's say, for example, Zach on the show before, mm -hmm. I feel like it brought a like this is what most people talk like in London. Not most people, but there's a most vast majority of people in London that talk like me. And Zach, for example, do you know what I mean? But obviously, because we've never been like portrayed like that on reality TV before, I feel like it's like, right, this people new and but it's not really new still. Everyone talks like that. Most people talk like that. So. But that's why I'm saying though, like I, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta give it to Zach too, because pause, that was crazy. But Zach was somebody who would like he would be like one of my mans on the show too, because he played ball, he seemed like he yeah, could yeah, come yeah. from the code and ethics like, like me. Yeah. But they keep saying something in the comments called roadman slang. A road, uh, I'm, I'm not a road man. I'm far, listen, I'm far from a road man. Everyone needs to allow me. I'm not a road, road man's like someone who's just on the roads. Do you know what I mean? Someone who's how can I explain a road man? Road man, I never heard of that. A road man, a road man's like someone that's like a bit with a gang stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? Outside, uh, doing it. Do you know what I mean? A bit of a, a bit of a <laughs> GB gang in a gang and all that. Get me? I'm not a road man, I'm a good dude. Mum raised me well, trust me. <laughs> nah, the way you say, bro. I ain't gonna lie, your accent is crazy, bro. Like, um, but that's what I think when I hear anyone from the states talk. I just think, bro, like you look actually talk like that. That's crazy. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, though. Like I really feel like I, 
I felt like when I was talking to you at some point, like your real voice was going to come out and then you would just, does not sound like this, but you really, really, really so like, Yeah, no, this is me, so it's me. Everything you, everything nah, you see is me. Nah, it's really crazy that y'all really talk like this. Man. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, one or two more. Let's see. Uh, Just Brown said, I ain't gonna lie on that. Um, Dr. Zanderby says, when's the single dropping? He said he's working on it. Get it. Uh, I'm working on it, man. Allow me. I feel like, too, I, I imagine that Love Island probably has some, they trying to have something to say about it because they performed it on the show. Do they try to show you a go? Bro, I can't, I can't talk. It's not really, there's just, there's just a lot of people involved in it. There's, mm. there's, there's, let's just put it that way, you know, I can't really talk to you. Talk. Do you watch Top, Top Boy? Yeah, well, Top Boy is hard, though. Fuck with Top Boy. Did you finish it? Yeah, I finished it, yeah. Yeah, I gotta watch it. I tried to, I tried to do the, uh, the Summer House, that shit. It was tough, but, yeah. I think Summer House is better. For real? Yeah, I, I, try. I, like, I like Summer House better than, than, than the new See, ones. Yeah, I, I watched episode one yesterday. My son that was in Jamaica, what's his name? Shane or some shit like that? The Shane, the Shane, yeah, yeah. And smoked his mans on the first episode. I'm like, well, I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. What, do, you, do, the, do Americans watch Top Boy, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I was at the Top event, like, last week. Netflix had a, a dinner to celebrate like uh, the last the top boy and they had a dinner for us and shit like that. I ain't telling nobody they never the show. <laughs> but we'll be watching it for sure. Yeah, totally. Who's who's someone that um kind of surprised you that they would the show? Like a celebrity, maybe somebody mm. but who's someone that surprised me that they watched the show. You know who surprised me? Um young and young and ace. So young they yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually he messaged me still, and he said that him and his him and his girl was watching the show, and they was fucking with me still. But I was like, right, like you properly, properly watch it in America, like you lot are locked in, man. It's just a big shock, man. It's a shock. So yeah, he, he well, watched the show. Proud me. Young and Ace is watching Love Island, yeah. but it's lady that's making him watch that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, wherever it is, isn't it? He's locked in. And how about like, like uh, how about um, how about? American rappers, do you be listening to American rap or yes, strictly on like the UK drill scene? Like, what do you be listening to? Nah, if I'm if I'm being honest, I'm more of a UK man. I like UK music more, but I do I do listen to American artists. You get me? I got my favorites. I got my favorites. So yeah, I like obviously I like Baby, fuck your little baby, Dirk. I like Dirk. Yeah. Future. We'll see. Drake's not Drake from Toronto, but you can't be crossing. Put him with put him with you guys. Who's Drake. The Who's like the popping? What's like the popping uh, UK artist right now? Obviously, we know Central C and Dave, I guess. And but like, who who do y'all really fuck with out there? Mm, yeah, no, Central C and Dave are the most popping right now, properly. And yeah, people do fuck with them. They get love. Uh, Lost is popping. K Trap. K Trap. K Trap. Wait, he got a song. I know. Wait, wait, wait. When I came out there, it was playing. Okay, I came out there. We went to this club, mm. and um, bro, they played some shit, and the place went crazy. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? And it might have been um it might have been warm. Yeah. They trap warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, you know where it <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. I never heard this. Yeah, no, that tune that tune's called D B as well. D Block Europe. Okay. Get a lot of love in the UK. Uh that's bro the the, mu the music scene in the in the UK is good, man. There's a lot of good rappers. There's a lot of good There's another song called um Day Date. Day Date. Clavish, 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 maybe. Clavish, yeah. yeah. Clavish, Clavish is sick. Nines is sick. There's a lot of man that are good, man. There's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of talent here still. Nux, Heady. There's, hey, there's a lot I, of man still. Alright, right, man. Well, I appreciate you tapping in. Is there anything else that you want to leave the people with? For? I mean, you got a, a lot of American people in here watching right now. Yeah. No, man. I gotta say, just thank you, thank you for all the love. If you're from the UK or from the states, and you're fucking with me. I fuck with you. You get me. So nothing but love. Appreciate you all. And yeah, man. Bless up. Thank you for having me, Speedy. My dog. I and, I, and everyone from the from the states. I hope to come there soon. You get me. No, you got to so lick me. New York. When you come to New York, hit me. I'll make sure where you need to be. At. All right, cool. My brother, man. Nothing but love. Bless up, bro. God bless. Yeah. Hi, bro. All right, so that was Tyreek. Make sure y'all show him some love. I appreciate all y'all tapping in. I just wanted to tap him in because I fuck with the show. And I was like, damn, this is really a personal reality TV that's a lot like me. Anyways.
I'm gonna highlight y'all later. Y'all be safe.